All right, guys, you know the drill here. So I am wearing new sunglasses. That means we're going to be talking about these, you know, really fashion glasses. We'll stick to that for now. But if you want to see more about this incredible piece, a very, very exclusive one at that, I believe very limited. What is it? 12? 15? 50. 50, maybe. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll talk about it. So if you're new here, do me a favor first, hit that subscribe button, stick around for a while so we can talk about all sorts of really cool exclusive glasses, sunglasses, and how to take care of them. We'll go through fit, adjustment, keeping them in tip-top shape, and why you want to keep them in tip-top shape. This one in particular because it is incredibly exclusive. So let's get into it. This is the new LaBoss 2.0 from Anna Karen Carlson. It is the second variation of it, incredibly done. What's nice with this one, the other was really, really over the top. The original LaBoss had a huge stone section across the brow line, which of course she is known for more eclectic, exotic pieces of eyewear. So it's not anything that crazy on its own, but this is a much more luxurious, refined feel to it. As the market broadens and the reach broadens, we have to have those pieces that are a little bit more exclusive and less just right in your face with a whole lot of punch to them. This one still has a lot of punch, obviously, as you get that very nice detailing across the top from the stonework. Still a really beautiful piece. This is in the blush colorway. Really, 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 really nice because in other videos I have said really way too many times and I'm just trying to see if you guys are paying attention. I also call this blush incorrectly. That was a different colorway. This is rose gold, and we have a nice, very soft brown lens from the factory in these. Adds a little bit of detail to it without being anything way over the top. Just nicely done all around. Beautiful crystal work on the temples and on that brow line. Really cool detailing all the way around. What's fun with this, and she's done it on her frames for years, that is the actual AKK Anna Corinne Carlson logo coined all the way around the rim of the frame. It's just one of those things they do really well. And the stonework always meticulously placed and very beautiful. You can see they reflect, refract a lot very nicely. This is in the bridge as well as across that upper brow line. It's a really cool take on the aviator navigator shape that is trending so, so much right now. And that's why I'm going and revisiting and doing a full video workup on these. Very flat across the bottom, nice little angles here and here. It's different from your traditional aviator. It's different from your traditional navigator. And we know Anna Karin Carlson does that very well than a lot of others out there. Something much more exclusive, very hard to come by. As I mentioned, there were only 50 of these made. This one is number 10. If you want one, of course, I'll have the link down in the comments and the description. As far as sizing, it is a little bit more oversized. You can see on me, I am a little bit more narrow through here in this frame, but a lot of my others fit extremely well. I'm going to call this one the large to oversized fit, and of course with those titanium and rose gold plated pads with the Anna Karin logo in those, provides a nice amount of comfort. The frame overall is very lightweight. It is a solid titanium, which we always love to see because it just feels good on. Very nicely thought out temples, really good ergonomic fit, locks down behind the ears without putting a whole lot of pressure, and it is not slipping and sliding all over the place, which we also love. I think shape-wise, this is a lot more well thought out than it looks on the face. As I mentioned, it's a lot different from your traditional aviator or navigator shapes, even though it does have some of that inspiration, there's a lot more universalness to it. It's fairly soft across the top. It's not harsh across the bottom, but it's not really soft either. Most Faces can wear this really, really well, but as with most pieces from Anna Karenin, it is about that personality and punch to it. This one's a little bit more subtle than the others. Really nice intro to get into our collection, and I would highly recommend doing that if you're not already wearing some of hers. This one, you're gonna be on the little bit more expensive side. Anything she makes is. This one, you're gonna be in that 1500 territory, which, 
you know, nothing too crazy. There's much more expensive pieces out there, especially if you're an exotic collector or you're more into the eclectic pieces of eyewear. 1500 is a starting point, really. I think most of the more collector oriented pieces are gonna start in that eight, 900,000 and up range. But it's something that can form a part of your personality and really portray that brand image if you focus on such. Always worth mentioning talking about brand image and I throw on my green glasses that every one of you knows from a mile away. <laughs> That's all I've got today. I'm not going to dive into brand image, but maybe we should do that one day. Hmm. Food for thought. Let me know your thoughts on this video. If it's something you're interested, of course, I will definitely have those links down below. But let me know what you think of the boss. I'll catch you guys next time because I am the boss and I have other things to go do. <laughs> That's it. I'll catch you next time. Seriously. <laughs>